In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Email Parser by Zapier with your Squarespace order emails so that you can pull that order information into Zapier and then use it with any of the many tools that you can use with Zapier. Now it starts with creating a mailbox um, here. So because what we're going to do is we're going to forward our emails from Gmail uh, right into this email parser tool. So once we create a, e uh, create a mailbox, we get an email address and we're going to use this email address. We're going to cut or copy it. And we're going to come over to our Gmail settings underneath forwarding. And we're going to add a forwarding address and that's going to be the address. I'm going to hit next proceed. And now a, uh, a, car, a verification email is going to be sent directly to that address and we can view it here. Uh, the page just reloaded and I can see here's the confirmation code. I'll highlight it. And it doesn't let me uh, like copy it. So I'm just going to rewrite it real quick. Seven twenty fifty three five zero nine. All right. So come back over here, and I'm going to verify it. Seven twenty fifty three five zero nine. I click verify. I'm going to get an email in my inbox that looks like this. So I'm going to. Click here to verify that. And this confirms that I'll be forwarding, forwarding emails um, from my email to this uh, Zapier email address. So now I'm ready to create my filter. And it's typically going to be something like this. The from email is usually from no reply at Squarespace. And the subject is usually your site name and it will have new order in it. Um, and so you just want to, you know, verify whatever the specific emails you'll be filtering are for, for you. Uh, and then create a filter and click forward and you're going to forward it to that specific address that we, uh, that we set up previously. And once you've done that, going to go back over to our parser here and I'll go back to the mailbox so this is the mailbox I just created um, once you've done that all your new emails will you'll see them show up in here the ones that correspond with that filter and let me show you something I've already done all right so here's an example um, you'll have new order, you know, you'll have all of that information in here. And so what you can do is you can highlight the, the product names, highlight all of the fields that you'd like to turn into variables that you can use in Zapier. So maybe you want to use the price or maybe you want to pull the, you know, the address or billing information in uh, whatever it is, you can you can just copy and paste it. Maybe it's the order number. Um, you can do that within the parser. So if you click Edit Extra Template at the bottom, that that allows you to to get in here and say maybe I wanted to highlight the the total. So I'd say total price. Save save extra template. And then now when I go to create my zaps, I'll choose the corresponding mailbox. So I'll use a one I used already. And in the, in the following actions, I'll be able to use those, those same fields that I, that I outlined. So again, hopefully you found this useful. Um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment or uh, question below, and I'll do my best to get back to it when I can. Um, you can also 
schedule some time with me. I'll put a link below to do that as well if you need any one-on-one help. And um, yeah, that's it. Peace.